Hey, what's going on? It's Buddy here. What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to be going over the Mobile World Congress, or MWC, that just happened March 2nd through the 5th in 2015. So, we'll be taking a rundown of all the cool things that were unveiled here, and what you need to know about it. So, let's get right into it. To start it off, HTC launched their new M9. This has subtle changes, but welcome changes. As we take a look at the back, there's a 20 megapixel camera that does not have two cameras on the back, which is a welcome change because the ultra pixel overall wasn't as good. But they did keep the ultra pixel on the front so that you can get better lo low light selfies and front facing pictures. So that was welcome changes and also it got a specs bump boost. It now has three gigs of RAM and a Snapdragon 810 and they incorporated Dolby for their boom sound speakers, so they sound even that much better. After a device finally becomes unveiled, you can see when you look up the device online, all the leaks that were actually fake. So I thought this one was hilarious and how wrong it actually was. It could have been a prototype to give it credit, but I think it's interesting to see how much you should take leaks into account and not. The thing you need to know about Sony is that they released their new Sony Xperia Z4 tablet. This is actually lighter than the iPad Air 2 by about 50 grams, coming in at 389 grams. It's again water and dust resistant, or dust proof and waterproof, so you can take it in the water like other Sony devices. And it has the standard, now standard, specifications for all high-end devices at the Snapdragon 810, and 3GB of RAM. It looks pretty darn good. The Galaxy S6 also came out, so be sure to check out my video on that. LG really showed off a lot of new devices at MWC. A lot of mid-range to low, and a kind of a little bit high, and as well as the LG Urbane smartwatch that looks fantastic. I can't wait to see this in person, but the other mid-range devices. I mean, if you really like LG software, go ahead. Otherwise, they're just another phone to choose on the market. If you were to take away anything from MWC, I would say that there are more, faster, cheaper phones, which is looking good for the average consumer. There's new high standards that have been set with the 3 gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 810, etc. by phone manufacturers, and we're heading in the right direction. We're getting Lollipop into more devices. There's a variety of new form factors that companies are trying out. And overall, it looks like a step in the right direction, and it looks good for the future of where we're headed. If you like the video, guys, give it that thumbs up. Subscribe button's not too far away. Red button. Leave a comment down below of what you thought about MWC, and I'll see you in the next one.